What's up guys, I'm Phoenix Master 1 and welcome to another Resplendent review. Today I'm going to be taking a look at Cecilia and I'm going to be going over her builds and at the end I'll also have a special segment for her. So Cecilia is a Gen 1 Green Mage Cavalier with Tome of Order as her preferred weapon. This weapon does have effective damage against flying units which is really good and it does have the Raven Tome effect. So she's able to have the weapon's triangle advantage against the colorless enemies and then with the weapon refine she's able to have the triangle adept effect. So triangle adept usually as a weapon refine has not really been too good but this is the exception because with the raven tomes having the triangle adept is definitely going to be really helpful and it frees up your slotty skill from running that you know triangle adept so this is really good on Cecilia and even though this weapon does lack extra stats and the additional effects which you would pretty much need for taking on a lot of the modern foes. She can still work out fine on a budget for limited hero battles or for arena assault um, because of having this kind of raven tome and triangle adept and also having the effective damage against flyers. And she can definitely specialize in the blue and the colorless matchups and take down the flying opponents. And I still use her as my arena core unit with G-Dual Cavalry 4. So Cecilia is definitely someone I've used quite a lot at plus 10 and for the arena matchups against many of the modern threats and she still holds out decently well compared to a lot of the gen 1 units who just have a terrible weapon refine. This weapon refine is not really insanely good but it's not really the worst either so it does help her work out decently fine but having more would definitely help in the metagame right now and she does have stats where you pretty much need to plus and merge her because 34 base attack is not really too high and she does have a speed super boon which is really not going to be meaning anything unless you're going to be speed stacking at max investment. Gen 1 units do have a bit weird super boons and super banes but at least the speed super boon can help her because she doesn't really have any kind of auto follow up which is also a problem in itself especially considering how bulky units can be nowadays. So if she had something like guaranteed follow up attack that would be really helpful but unfortunately it doesn't so you have to basically work with a more one shot playstyle and specialize in your matchups. While Cecilia is not really too bulky she can still survive many of the threats because of having the triangle adept and the raven tome effect. So if you've seen my arena videos then you know that she can survive many of the modern threats as well as long as she is specializing in the matchup and is able to take care of the opposing unit. If not then even blue units like Kadean male violet can just kill her using their special and having the damage reduction which Cecilia can really do anything against. So even though she might have weapons triangle advantage and the triangle adept, even some of the blue units can just kill her so you definitely have to watch out for that. If you're gonna be building up Cecilia on a budget then you can simply give her fury and lance breaker and this is the budget build which I use for the longest time. So this can work out for limited hero battles and for arena assault. For arena assault she's gonna be a good pick because she can you know have the effective damage against flyers and also function fine for taking on many of the blue and the colorless threats. If you do want to invest into her a bit more then attack defense catch 4 from the divine codes can be a pretty good option that you can run on her slotty skill and also run lull attack resistance and also run join drive attack. So you can try and stack up the defense and attack on her and stacking up defense can definitely help you against many of the threats. She does have a bit lower defense than resistance so Stacking up defense is definitely something I would recommend and lull attack resistance can be a good slot B skill for her because she's not very fast so there are not a lot of other options and just ignoring the visible buffs of the opponent to their attack can definitely help in you know dealing with many of the threats and just tanking them. You can also run the Fartray skill on her and also run something a bit more expensive like attack resistance menace. So the Fartray skill is definitely going to be helping you with the Canto mobility and it's definitely one of the best options that a lot of the cavalry units have. The mana skill can also help you activate the effect of the cat skill so it does have good synergy and can definitely help you. She can also be used by speed stacking especially with the resplendent version if you do want to do that. I know many Cecilia users do like to do this so um, you can definitely try and do that with attack speed cats for speed resistance for trace and attack speed menace. Though this is not really too fast for the modern times because we have units with insane speed in their base kits and they are going to be insanely fast just at plus one merge. So while Cecilia is not going to be outspeeding any kind of modern foes, this is still something that she can do if you do want to get the follow up attacks, especially against the slower opponents. So speed stacking is a way of doing things with their speed super boon 
though I personally have not really gone that route, but I know some people do like to do that. And she can also be run in Arena with G Duel Cavalry 4. So this is pretty much the Cecilia build which I use, and you guys have seen this build in my Arena videos as well, and you've seen Cecilia in action there. So G Duel Cavalry 4 definitely makes good use of Cecilia, and she can function. And honestly, she has been a pretty good Arena unit for me, for my experience personally. And she has definitely helped me quite a lot, but against many of the modern threats, she is going to be failing. So just keep that in mind. Um, you just need to specialize in the matchups and just let her take care of the blue units and the colorless units and the flying units. And baiting out dancers has also been really helpful with Cecilia because she will take enough damage to the point where they can get baited out. And you can easily kill them with the flyer effectiveness. Someone like Duo Peony, for example. So that has definitely helped me. And if you want to go even further with the arena build and go for the max investment with like speed super boon and with the tier 4 slot B skill, then guard 4 can definitely help you with the damage reduction and also stop specials from triggering like against ninja lin matchup. So guard 4 can definitely be helpful and attack res menace does help in arena. So this is the max arena build where she can score as a 185 BST unit with a tier 4 slot B skill. And She's definitely one of the better 3-star, 4-star unit who can function with the dual skill in Arena. Cecilia does have a decent weapon refine, but having used her so much, I think could definitely be improved so that it is a bit more modernized. So I would still keep the effective damage against Flyers and the Raven Tome effect and let her have plus 4 to all of her stats in the combat and also guaranteed follow-up attack, which is going to be helping her so much because her speed is at a really awkward point. And with the weapon refined, she's still going to be having the Triangle Adept effect, which is going to be making her specialize in the blue and the colorless matchups. And I would give her another round of plus 4 to all of her stats, and she'll be able to ignore any kind of foes bonuses, which is going to be helping her tank a lot better. And then I would give her colorless feud and blue feud in this weapon refined. So this is going to help her even more in the matchups where she's going to be dominating. So this is basically going to be doubling down on that. And Cecilia is all about specializing in her best matchup. So having Colorless Feud and Blue Feud here is going to be making her a lot better in that role. So this is not the most insane weapon of find, but definitely improves her utility and her matchups. So let me know in the comments what you think about my refine theory craft for her improved refine. And I hope you all enjoyed this video. Make sure to share this video with your friends if they're trying to build up Cecilia with her new resplendent version. And if you enjoyed, then please be sure to leave a like and a comment. Helps you tremendously. And if you really, really enjoyed, you could always support me directly by using super thanks down below or by becoming a YouTube member. And for more fave videos, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell because I wish YouTube sub boxes were about as effective as Cecilia is against flying units. So with that, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.